Good morning, it's me. I'm back again with another video, and I'm looking very French today. Don't know how this happened, but it did, so yeah. <laughs> so if you didn't already watch my DC vlogs, you should. I'll put the playlist right here so you guys can check it out. If you have watched them, you'll know that I did way too much shopping while I was out of town. So today, I'm just going to be doing like a little haul video for you guys. In a couple of weeks, I will be doing a little lookbook featuring a few of these pieces, but for now, I'll just be showing off what I got. So the first thing I got is this beauty water from Sun and Park, which I got at Sephora, and when I saw this at Sephora, I nearly passed out. Like, oh my god. I love this toner. I've been using it for a while now, but, but I've always had to order it online because it's a K-beauty product. I didn't think any American stores would carry it. And I was in Sephora the other day, and I saw it, and it was the same price that it is online, minus the shipping and handling fees, and I was like, oh my god, I love this store. This is officially my favorite store in this entire universe. I'm just so excited to have this because I was really, I was running really low, and I was kind of dreading having to order it online because shipping fees suck. Moving on to the second thing that I got while I was in DC. I actually got this from Zara, and it's this mandarin collar jacket. It's so different from anything that I've ever bought before. I, as you can see, I usually wear very neutral tones, and I'm not very into like printed um, fabrics, but I saw this, and I was like, I must own it. Moving on to what I got at H&M. I don't usually shop at H&M, but I had a gift card this time. So I decided to go check it out. And it took me a while to find something that I liked, but I finally did. And it's the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It has like this little fake collar and a little V-neck. It's super cute and I love the color. I love the, like the little mustardy yellow. I've been getting into a lot of yellows lately. Now let's move on to Forever 21. I always tell myself, that I'm gonna stop shopping at Forever 21 because their clothes just aren't that high quality. But then I, I just can't help but go in. And I find like 10 million different things that I love and I just have to get all of them, of course. So the first item that I got from Forever 21 is this cardigan that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> I own way too many cardigans. I decided I didn't have a white cardigan, like I had I have all these different other colors, but I didn't have a white one, so I got a white cardigan, and I really like it. So the next two items that I got from Forever 21 are these two bralettes, and they're super delicate and super just, I just think that they have like a super really cutesy, sweet style to them. And I normally don't go for stuff like this, but I decided to look this time. And these are only like $10 each, so I was like, oh, I have to have them. Another thing that I got from Forever 21 were these jeans. I think they're called the Fairfax. I actually got these pair a couple months ago in like a darker wash and I love them so much that I had to go in and get a lighter wash and I am just I'm just in love. I, I just they're so comfy. I, I have an obsession with Forever 21 jeans because they're like super cheap and they're super nice. So, yeah. so the last apparel item that I got from Forever 21 I didn't actually buy this item while I was in town, I actually ordered it online and it came in last night, but I think I might return it. I got this jacket and it's... I'm so disappointed because it doesn't look that great on me, but it's so soft and the fabric just feels so amazing and you just feel like you're wrapped in like a piece of cloud from heaven when you're wearing it. I just, I look awful when I wear it. It's so unflattering, which is disappointing. But, oh well, it is what it is. The last thing that I got from Forever 21, which is probably my favorite piece, it's this backpack. Well, I normally don't buy bags from Forever 21 because a lot of them don't suit my style. But this one, it's so simple and it's so cute. And it was like $30, which isn't bad, but Okay, so those are all the pieces that I got while shopping in DC. I hope you guys like them. I'll try to link them all down below so that you guys can check them out for yourself. And keep an eye out because in a couple of weeks I will be making a lookbook with some of these pieces. I'm just waiting for one more piece to come in the mail, which I'm super excited about. Maybe I'll do an unboxing for that one, but we'll see. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah. 
See you next time.